Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. The intro pretty much summed up what these videos are usually about. If you have clicked onto this video from searching it, you may well not be someone who usually subscribes to me. So welcome if that is you. And if you're an OG, welcome back. I didn't think I'd be doing this video at all. So Lynx Africa, the long story short, I like the fragrance, but I would never wear it. Marmite, I adore. I try and eat it as much as possible. I can literally eat it by the spoon. There's like an old wives tale that it actually helps to repel mosquitoes. So when I'm ever in a warm country, I always eat Marmite before bed. It works. Two things, something that I kind of like, but I wouldn't really always wear to something I really, really, really like. These have come together and formed this new exclusive range, which has literally just come out. There's only a few videos that I've seen online and they are some really good ones. 25 years old, hence why this special edition has come together. If I remember what it was back then, it was the cool body spray to have. It was the, the cool one. It's the one that the girls like the smell of. It's ones that girls sprayed. It smelled epic. It was so kind of synonymous with school culture and like your first kiss, an iconic fragrance, no matter what you think of it. I remember smelling it like maybe six months or eight months ago. It was in a shower and I just smelt it. And I was like, it's actually not that bad. And when you haven't smelt it for so many years, you kind of forget what it smells like. So there we go. Even when people like pass people and they're like, oh my gosh, like Lynx Africa, I promise you, unless you've genuinely smelt it recently, you may be mistaking it for something else. So just saying. So they do a body wash. These are on sale at Boots at the moment. And the body spray. Let's find out what happens when you mix these two things together. What do I expect? Food notes, I used to work in fragrance and food notes are very popular in perfumes. So if you really dumb down perhaps the fragrance of Marmite, it's quite savory, it's very kind of bitter, it's quite salty. So these are already things you would imagine in a normal fragrance anyway. So I think this is obviously marketing, which I love, but I can imagine if you really kind of remove that, I think it's just gonna make it smell even nicer anyway. I think it will really complement um, Lynx Africa. On Fragrantica, which is the best website ever to find out any information about any fragrance, it's very balsamic, it's very ar aromatic, it's very citrusy. So it has bergamot, mandarin, middle notes of geranium, base notes, cedar, and sandalwood. So this is from the Shields Gazette, and let's have a little look at what it says. The perfume itself is said to contain aromatic notes of lavandin, white moss, and green herbs along with woody profiles of creamy sandalwood and cedarwood, unexpectedly met with the slightly salty punch of Marmite. So it's very kind of uh, woody and spicy, and then it's got that saltiness. So actually, if people are like, oh, Marmite's gonna ruin it, I really doubt it would ruin it. And they wouldn't probably sell it in that way anyway. So let's find out what it's like. That's actually mad. <laughs> okay, when I first smelt it, full on, just smelt like Marmite. Now I can kind of remember what Lynx Africa is like on its own because now I've like smelt the Marmite bit and then in my head I can kind of like differentiate from it. So it. That's actually mad. It kind of has, but yeah, phew, that is strong. But it has a massively, massively powdery finish to it. It's super like balsamic. It's very, it's kind of like a caramel, sandalwoody, refreshing, orangey, with like really dried down Marmite. But it kind of smells like skin. That's the weirdest thing. It kind of smells like bacon to me. Okay, so verdict. It does smell nice. It is weird. It's quite kind of a gourmand. So if this was on a guy, it actually makes it more kind of seductive than the original or any other links that I've smelt apart from Dark Temptations or the kind of gold or the sandalwood and oud, which actually was the one that I did use, but I also used the gold. Um, it's got a kind of more rugged note to it and it feels very kind of whiskey, beard, really rugged. So if you like Lynx Africa and that isn't working and you kind of need to like up it, that's your Africa and Marmite. Because this is another level. So yeah, so obviously I had to big up Marmite and stand up for them because when anyone disses Marmite, I'm literally like, you're right. 
I'm not having it. If you have tried it yourself, if you're a Marmite fan as well, I want you down below to give me a yellow heart emoji because it's the nearest thing I think that I can find it, or the honey, maybe both, or let me know which one you think is more like it. And I hope to see you again in another video. I did also buy, on a total whim, the Leather and Cookies Lynx shower gel. I'm just on one. I wanted to spend and I wanted a bit of kind of nostalgia and it sounded really good. So if you do want me to do more of these kind of reviews, uh, if there's any gents out there wanting that or even women that like these kind of fragrances, do let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.